Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice problem sum of digit is palindrome or not. So first I would explain you the question and then we would move towards the solution. So let's start. So basically in this question, we would be given a string, okay? String of numbers. For example, it is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what do we need to do is, first thing is we need to find the sum of this string. So, the sum of this string is 1, 2, 3 and then 3, 3, 6 and then 10, okay? The sum of this string is 10. Now, I need to reverse this, okay? I need to reverse this string. Basically, now it is an integer, right? Because I cannot add a string. I can only add an integer. So, first I would convert it into integer. Then I would add it, okay? Now, I have a sum. After I have a sum, I need to reverse it, okay? So, it would be 0, 1, right? After reversing it, I need to check if 10, that was the original sum, is equal to now the reverse value. Okay, now if these both are equal, then you need to say palindrome. And if it is a palindrome, then you need to print 1. But like you can see, this is not a palindrome, right? If not palindrome, right? If it is not a palindrome, if it is not a palindrome, then what do you need to do? Then you need to print 0. So basically, first you need to convert a given string into integer, calculate its sum. After calculating its strung, you know, sum, you need to convert it back into string. After converting it back into string, you need to find its reverse. After finding its reverse, you need to compare it, okay? You need to compare the original sum with the reverse sum value and you need to check if it is a palindrome or not. If it is a palindrome, then you need to print 1. If it is not a palindrome, then you need to print 0. This is what you have to do in this question. So, I hope the question is clear to you. Now, let's move forward towards the solution. So guys, you need to go to the practice portal and in practice portal, you need to scroll down. In difficulty, you need to choose school and then you need to find the problem. Sum of digits is palindrome or not, okay? After this, you need to click on solve. Okay, let's wait. Okay, now let's read the question. Given the number n, find if the digit sum or sum of the digits n is a palindrome number or not, okay? So, a palindrome number is a number which states the same when reversed, right? It would just remain the same. So, this is what you have to do. So, we need to code it over here. Now, let's do it. So, first thing is I need to, first I need to take a number value which is 0, okay? So, I'm just taking a number 1 that is initially 0. Next, what I need to do is I need to start a for loop that would, you know, traverse the entire string. So, for i in str, str and in this I need to write n, okay? So, then after this I need to add all the characters of the string n in the number, right? The sum. So, what do I need to do? I need to do number 1, one minute it should be in small, number 1 then plus equal to int i, okay? So, basically, what I am saying, I have a string this, for example, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, start with letter 1, the first characters, okay, convert it into integer, convert it into integer, after converting it into integer, add it in number 1, so first it would go over here, convert it into integer, then add it in number 1, then move here, convert it into integer and add it here, okay? So, like this, each and every character of the string would be converted into integer and then the sum would be stored in number 1, okay? Now, let's move forward to the next part. Now, this is number 1. Now, I need to calculate the reverse value, right? Now, remember, if I want the reverse of anything, I need it to be a string, right? I need it to be a string. So, what I can do is, first I would declare number 2, okay? Number 2 is equal to, one minute, number 2 is equal to str, that is string of number 1. So, over here, I converted number 1, that is this sum, 
to a string value and after converting it into a string value I would do the slicing. So colon colon minus 1. So over here I did slicing for reversing the string. Okay, so this slicing has reversed the string. So I hope till this much it is clear. Now what we need to do, we just need to compare number 1 and number 2 and we need to check if they are equal or not. So let's do that. If number 1, now remember number 1 is a number, okay. This is an integer value, okay. So basically I can only compare an integer value to another integer value, right. So over here I would write str number Sorry, not str, it should be int, okay, int number 2, okay, because an integer value would be converted to another integer value. So, let's do it, one minute. So, equal equal to int circular brackets number 2, okay. After this, if this is true, then it means it is palindrome, so I need to return 1, else it is not a palindrome. So, what do I need to do? I need to return 0. So, return 0. So, I hope this is clear to you. Now, let's test it out by clicking on compile and run. So, let's wait. It is getting compiled. Okay, so it is compiled. Let us check. So, see, my output is matching with the expected output. So, now I would submit the problem. So, let me submit it. Let's wait. Okay, it is processing all the test cases. Let's wait, let's give it some time. So, the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the question. Sum of digit is palindrome or not. So, I hope the question is clear to you and you guys have enjoyed this session. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today. Thank you.